Hello, Bethune families. If you don't know me, my name is Melanie Nakhnechny, and I'm the principal here at Mary Bethune School. We are excited to finally get to kick off the school year with our scholars back in the school building. And we're gonna use this time now to share information with you about what hybrid learning will look like. Welcome back. This is an informational session to highlight safety protocols and procedures expected for hybrid learning. The presentation is also being posted on our school YouTube page and on our social media. So if you want to check this out again, feel free to look at those pages and you'll find it there. The meeting is recorded so families who cannot attend um, can, can still watch and get the information. And like we mentioned, a copy of that recording placed on our YouTube channel, as well as in our social media. If you have any questions during the presentation, you can place them in the chat if we're doing this live with you. Um, if not, you can feel free to call or email the school and we will answer any questions you have within 48 hours. So we have some priorities for hybrid learning. The first is to maintain the health, safety, and well-being of our scholars and staff. We're going to exemplify excellence in learning and teaching filled with joy and aligned to a coherent uniform core, core curriculum. We're going to support our scholars, staff, and families as they adapt to new methods and rhythms of learning and teaching. We're going to ensure operational efficiency across the organization to encourage flexibility and financial help. We're going to partner with community organizations and leverage local assets to more fully and equitably support our scholars and their families. And as always, if you wanna review any of this information in further detail, you can find it at www.clevelandmetroschools.org backslash hybrid. As most of you know by now, we are beginning to return to school in a new sort of learning environment. There are options that you as a family have and will continue to have regarding your student's education. The first is a hybrid option, which allows for students to learn in person some days of the week, as well as remote the other days of the week. There is a remote only option if you are not ready to have your children return back to the building. And lastly, there is a virtual academy, which is an online learning school, if that's something you so choose. As always, you can call the school and get answers about any of these different options that you have. If you know your choice and have not done so already, you can make the choice now to remain remote. If you wanna remain remote, you can do so by calling 216-838-3675 to speak with an enrollment specialist, or you can call Mary Bethune at 216-838-2250 and we can assist you as well. Remember the deadline to opt out of hybrid learning is March 19th. You can also use the link below or found on the district's hybrid learning page. As we start back into school in a hybrid model, we wanna make sure that we're doing so safely. And in order to be safe, the district has planned a phased in approach so that everyone isn't starting at the same time. Students in phase one will begin the week of March 8th. And those students are some students with special needs in self-contained classrooms in grades K to eight. Those are mostly students in classrooms such as MD Autism and ED. Phase two will begin the week of March 15th and the groups in phase two will be pre-K students through students in grades second grade. Additionally, if you have any scholars in high school, ninth and 12th will be going back in phase two as well. And the third and final phase will begin the week of March 22nd. All the groups listed in phase one and two will be back already Plus at that point, we will be starting with grades three through eight and the rest of high school will be joining their, their students as well. If during this process or at any time you have any questions, we wanna make sure that you're giving us a call at the school so you, we can help you. As always, the Mary Bethune school number is 216-838-2250. You can reach out to me at melanie.nakanachny at clevelandmetroschools.org or Assistant Principal Delarisha Bruce at delarisha.bruce at clevelandmetroschools.org. 
We also still have our Say Yes Family Support Specialist, Arnisha Rogers. You can reach her with questions at arogers at sayyescleveland.org. Additionally, on the screen, you're going to see many other helpful phone numbers that will specifically help you in this time where we are dealing with COVID uh, and our transition into hybrid. It's really important this time that we have your current contact information. If there are any concerns or any issues arrive, we need to be able to reach you. So please, if you have changed your address, your phone number, or even your email address, please call the school and let us know. Mrs. Goggins, our secretary, will be more than willing to help you and collect that information so we can make sure we have updated contact information for you. As we transition back to hybrid learning, our school hours and visitation procedures are gonna be a little different. School hours will be remaining with 8 a.m. as our start time for the educational day and ending at 2.30. Unlike in the past, we need you to call ahead to make an appointment if you need to meet with a staff member. Visitors will have to complete a COVID-19 health screening and have their temperature checked prior to entering the building. Also, visitors will be expected to social distance at six feet. All visitors must wear a face mask, but if you don't have one, we will provide you with one. For the safety of everyone, parents, guardians, visitors, volunteers are not allowed inside the building or classrooms during the school day, except for a scheduled appointment or to pick up meals. The goal is to keep everyone safe. We need everyone, staff, students, and families to work together to help keep the school safe. As in the past, school will open for students at 7.30 to have breakfast. Students will be eating all of their meals in the classroom. While the school day officially ends at 2.30, just like in the past, students will all begin to be dismissed at 2.20, so we can stagger our dismissal and make sure that students are able to keep a safe social distance. When you're thinking about getting ready for school, we want to make sure that parents and caregivers are checking their students and child's health every morning. Students should be kept home from school if they have any of these symptoms. A fever higher than 100.4, a cough, headache, a new loss of taste or smell, a sore throat, congestion or runny nose, fatigue, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, muscle or body aches. Also when getting ready for school, students need to be reminded that they will wear a clean cloth face mask to school and throughout the day. We will give every student a face mask and students in pre-K and kindergarten and some other special populations will also be given face shields. Additional face masks will be provided for students who need them. And students in grades one through 12 will be provided a computer backpack and should bring their fully charged device with them every day. Also, don't forget, you're going to need your charging cord, so make sure that's there as well. One really nice thing for scholars is that uniforms are not going to be required for the rest of the school year, but you must remember that they still must wear school appropriate clothing. Hybrid learning schedules. Students will be in two or four day hybrid assignments depending on their needs. Most students are going to attend school two days a week. Some students will be in an A cohort that attend Monday and Tuesday, while others will be in B and attend Thursday and Friday. Only preschool and a few other special populations will attend school four days a week. Students will still be in remote learning or independent study on the other days that they're not in school. Parents, if you have any concerns or questions about what days your child is attending, please give us a call at the school and we can help you with that. 838-2250. Below you see a sample of what hybrid schedules will look like in the pre-K to eight environment. You can see that some students with disabilities are attending four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Full day pre-K students are going to also attend four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Students in grades K through eight who are, 
Students are who are in grades K through eight, cohort A will be assigned to Monday and Tuesday in-person days and will be doing remote learning at home on Thursday and Friday. Students in grades K through eight, cohort B, will be learning at home Monday and Tuesday and will be in person Thursday and Friday. Please note from the schedule, there are no students assigned to be in the building at this time on Wednesdays. Health and safety. CMSD continues to follow recommendations of medical and health experts. Temperature checkpoints and hand sanitation stations are in place at all school buildings. Social distancing defined as six feet between people must be maintained at all times. Capacity on buses and in classrooms is limited to ensure fewer students are using the space at the same time. Classrooms and other areas of the school and buses will be cleaned and sanitized regularly between use. What can students expect? Well, they can expect high quality instruction aligned to content, curriculum, and method one-on-one -on -one technology, which they've already received, they just need to bring to school with them every day. Pre-packed meals to reduce food service lines. Eating breakfast and lunch in classrooms to avoid large gatherings in the cafeteria. Monitoring by a school health aide when exhibiting symptoms until picked up from school. And we are fortunate we have Ms. Zachary who is assigned to our building and will be our full-time school help, health aide for the rest of the year. They'll also have access to a designated care clinic while waiting to be picked up if they have any COVID symptoms. Students should stay home for at least 24 hours after having a fever or any other symptoms, making sure that they subside. Also, all families and students have access to the district COVID hotline, and you can call that hotline with any questions or concerns you have. The number is 216-838-9355. What can families expect? Well, they can expect social distancing when their child is on a school bus, in a classroom, during breakfast, lunch, recess, and other times in school facilities. Altered school and bus schedules due to decreased capacity and required face coverings for students and parents in accordance with state and local guidance. A limited number will be provided to each student. Parents, caregivers, and visitors will be provided a disposable mask if you need when you arrive at our building. Families can also expect two-way communication, phone calls, text messages, virtual meetings, and emails from the school. Newsletters, updates via website and social media, virtual family engagement activities, virtual SPO, PAC, PCO meetings, virtual or phone parent-teacher conferences, and again, access to the district COVID hotline for any questions or concerns at 216-838-WELL. School supplies and materials. The school will provide general school supplies. Supplies will not be shared between students. Students will be responsible for bringing their iPad or laptop as well as their charger with them to school every day. Parents may choose to send other school supplies with their children. Keep in mind, your child's school supplies will not be shared with anyone else. Supporting your scholars' hybrid learning. Get back into the routine of going back to school in person, making sure that you're setting a bedtime, washing, getting dressed appropriately for school every day. As a reminder, school uniforms are not required but scholars should wear school appropriate clothing during hybrid and remote learning. Create a schedule with your child and make sure you commit to stick with it. Structure and routine can greatly help your child from falling behind with assignments. We encourage you to create a structure and routine. Discuss your family schedule as a family and identify the best times for learning and instruction as well as family-oriented physical activities such as walks outside. And use a family calendar or other visuals to keep track of in-person and remote days, deadlines, and assignments. Supporting your scholar's social-emotional wellness. Watch for behavior changes in your child. For example, excessive crying or irritation, excessive worry or sadness, unhealthy eating or sleeping habits, 
difficulty concentrating, which may be signs your child is struggling with stress and anxiety. Ask how your child is feeling and communicate that what they may feel is normal. Identify opportunities for your child to be physically active during hybrid virtual at home learning. And reach out to the school staff for support. We're here to help you. Students who are assigned to in-person days will continue to get breakfast and lunch, and as mentioned earlier, will be eaten in their individual classrooms. Meals will continue to be distributed to students who remain virtual or who are at home on their days of the hybrid schedule. Transportation will work a little bit differently for our older grades. While busing will still be provided to students that were eligible for it, and if you have questions about eligibility, please call our school and Mrs. Goggins can assist you. RTA passes will not be electronically given for middle school students. Students who are eligible for RTA passes will be given two RTA passes at the school every time they come. It is for the return trip home as well as their next trip back to school. Additionally, we have other supports and resources at our school. We want to remind you that we continue to provide Say Yes to Education support services at Mary Bethune. As always, you can reach out to Family Support Specialist Arnisha Rogers at arogers at sayyescleveland.org. Additionally, every family should have received in the mail an application um, to fill out for the Integrated Health Services Pilot. We encourage you to fill out that form and to return it to the school as well. Any questions you have or concerns you have can be submitted directly to us at the school. As always, you can call the main office and ask to speak to any of us. The number is 216-838-2250. Or you can email Ms. Bruce or myself. Our email addresses are on the screen. We are here to help you. I know that things seem really uncertain right now and it can be concerning. I want everyone to know that we are excited to welcome our scholars back to Bethune. We have worked really hard to make sure that the building is safe and ready to go for our scholars. Teachers will reach out to you directly when it's your child's day to start and will help to explain their class schedule to you. So please be patient. We will be reaching out on your designated day when your designated day is to begin class in person. And as always, we're here to help. Don't hesitate to call the school with any questions or concerns you have. 